Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Louisa Manning High School for tonight's home basketball game against... All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Lady Lions basketball here. Good evening. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's game. The Lady Lions of Louisa against the Knights of Charlottesville, the Lady Knights. And things are a little different this year, but everything's the same in that Louisa County, we are Louisa County. We put the kids first and the community first, and we're excited for the opportunity to play a winter season. And we're practicing various strategies to ensure we're operating safely. Coach Stanley, the athletic director of Louisa, wants everybody to know how proud he is to serve as athletic director and puts a great deal of dedication and preparation into bringing winter sports to the players and coaches. And uh, it's not normal ways, but it is a way of getting it done. And he has a great staff and people behind him to help too. To the parents and community members, we're glad to have the Pixel Up camera system in place and can't wait to impact again again in the near future. We've got three more games after the night. Until we meet again, stay safe. Thank you for your support. Tonight's game is being brought to you. Our sponsor is ODEC, Old Dominion Electric Cooperative. They've been longtime supporters of Louisa County Athletics and Team LCPS. 2003, ODEC built and became the sole owner of their natural gas peaking facility in Gordonville, Virginia. Natural gas is the primary fuel. However, the facility operates on low sulfur uh, fuel oil when supplies of natural gas are restrained or otherwise unavailable. Gas fired combustion turbine engines and stations continually prove their worth for the hottest and coldest days of the year. They produce power quickly with low emissions and make ideal power generation sources to ensure the peak energy demand. Thanks again to ODAC for being the sponsor, and if you're tuned in and want to be a game sponsor, uh, contact Coach Stanley or Ms. Lauren Magnuski at the Lewis County Athletics Office at 540-894-5436, 540-894-5436. We appreciate your support, and Dickie, the Lady Lions come in and feel undefeated. Yeah, and they really haven't been challenged, Tommy. I think the closest game they had was either the Chancellor or the Flu Valley game, and uh, both of them were right around a 20-point victory. They beat Flu Valley by 20. And uh, the last time they played Charlottesville, Tommy, the Lions won, I believe it was 79-39, to 39, I believe it was, up at Charlottesville. Yeah, Louisa, this is one of the teams Louisa's playing that is a little bit younger than Louisa even. They've got a lot of freshmen and sophomores and juniors on that team, only one senior. Well, Louisa does have more seniors on the team. Yeah. But the underclassmen are who's playing the big role for Louisa. Yep. So the uh, Tommy, we have we got to go back a lot of years, but I remember one game we did up at Charlottesville. I'm sure you remember it too. And that was one of those classics when Charlottesville was really good. Louisa had Talisha Quarles and uh, Natalie, Will Natalie uh, Turner, and they were real good, and that was quite a basketball game that night, Tommy. Yeah, Misty Carneal on that team, too, just a great team, and uh, it was good until about midway in the fourth quarter, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I tell you, this is going to be a good one tonight for the Charlottesville Lady Knights. Their starting players are going to be Raquel Allen, uh, Vanessa Antwig, Andrea Leftowitz, Micaiah Brown, and Roxana B.B. Center. And uh, we got a couple of changes in numbers, but nobody has a, has a thing at home <laughs> on that anyway, but, so we'll just tell you. For the Lady Lions, it'll be the lineup that used the last few games. Olivia McGee, Lydia Wilson, uh, Alexis Chapman, Sylvia Jackson, and Taylor Pfeiffer and. The Lady Lions have used the bench well, Dickie. The buyers have been coming off the bench. She leads them in rebounds. Uh, they've got just got some great work. There to Chapman, who can be underneath, a big underneath, or a guard out front, too. Yeah, in the last game they played, they played Albemarle last Friday night, Tommy, this past Friday night, and they won that by 40 points, 89-49. And I think 89 is the most points they've scored this year, too. Yeah, and I think Elmore would love to have had Sylvie Jackson back. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure they would. Yeah. We talked yeah. about it last week that we sat there and, and McGee had 
a rough game. She still had 15 points, yeah. some like six rebounds, five assists, and it was just unreal. And we're getting ready for the national anthem. Nation in this community with the playing of our national anthem. Dickie, we look at uh, the boys' side of things, and uh, last week, Fluvanna took a loss to Western Albemarle. Yeah, Fluvanna beat Western Albemarle the first time they played. It was close. Last week, uh, Darren Maynard uh, turned the tables, Tommy, and beat the Flying Flucos. And one thing you know when you play Western Albemarle, they are a well-coached basketball team. Absolutely. We've got a, a big one coming up here. I say the Lady Lions tonight, Friday night, will be here for the boys' team as they will be playing Spotsylvania. And then next Tuesday, the girls will play Western Albemarle Girls. And next Friday, it will be the Louisville Boys and the Orange Boys. And uh, Dickie, no longer the Battle of the Tasty Freeze. There's no Tasty Freeze. No, no more Tasty Freeze, Tommy. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready for the tip-off for this game. Lady Lions trying to remain undefeated. One thing Charlottesville is going to have is size on them tonight. They're taller. All right, getting ready for the inbounds across the way. And it's going to be uh, Brown is going to inbound the ball for Charlottesville. Looks like the loser is going to do a 2-3 zone to begin things tonight. All right, as we say, we had some uh, number changes for the Lady Knights, so we'll have to keep that straight for you. We'll take it into the middle, get the Jackson up now, and now we get it in the corner. Back out front. Great defense by the Lady Lions early on. I'll tell you one thing, Tommy. Charlotte's still looks like they're slowing it down. That, that could be a smart move. Shot is up, no good. Rebound McGee, Louisa. All right, McGee brings it over the timeline. He's going to drive, take it all the way. Tries to dish it off to Pfeiffer, but out of bounds off the charge. Inbound to McGee, puts it up, missed it. And the Black Knights get the rebound. Charles here coming the other way. Inside it goes. He has a shot up. And it's good. Brown with the basket. Do nothing. Charles Phil. Left the with the basket. Silver Jackson out front for the Lady Line. He gets it over in the corner now. The Wilson, Wilson out to Chapman. Chapman back over in the corner. Gets it back to Jackson. Out to McGee. Charles will play some tough defense, Tommy. McGee takes it in, Mr. the shot. Fight, they got the rebound, knocked it abounds. Let's see. Who is the ball? Both teams playing great defense early on. The Lady Knights in a 
man to man. Inbound to Pfeiffer, puts it up and in. Taylor Pfeiffer, he loses his first two points of the night. And we're all tied at two. Ball goes to basketball. In the front court, they got the two on one, and they pass off. Shot is up and in. And that's going to be Natalia Brown with two. Dickie Andrews says it should be the battle of the Gordonsville Barbecue Exchange now. <laughs> All right, underneath. Jackson with the ball, missed the shot. Rebound, starts today. Here come the Black Knights the other way. Good pass. Uh, lay up, and she laid it up and in. That's Allen with the shot of Fred Aston. And the Black Knights are up, 62. Great pass that time, too, on the break. Here's McGee out front. McGee's going to drive, stop, pop, and got it. Six four. McGee gets the basket. McGee, McGee steals the basketball. McGee the takes it in, way. lays it up and in. All time at six. Cover. By the lady last stolen by McGee, takes it up, puts it up and in. Time out, Charlotte. Yeah. In a matter of four seconds, with these six straight points for McGee. Tell you, they put the pressure on, and when, once they put it on, yep. they got the turnover. Uh, we played just almost three minutes of the first quarter, and it's 8 6, Louisa. <laughs> Two steals for McGee along with those six points. All right. Randy Lyle is going to put the pressure on again, it looks like. Silver Jackson on. Throwing away again. Jackson, Jackson puts it up in it. This time Jackson gets the steal for Louisa. Charles still having trouble getting the ball at the court. Brown with the basketball. And they finally do get it up the court this time. Over it goes to Atwell. Underneath it goes for a bucket. Great pass that time underneath. Number 32. Brown, we got it. McGee with the basketball. Let's run over to Jackson. Jackson down the lane. Stops and pops. Missed the shot. Charlotte scores the rebound. Here come the Black Knights the other way. A nice pass across the court. Back over front. Shot up. No good. Rebound, Louisa McGee. Here comes McGee in the front court. McGee stops. Thinks about shooting the three. Doesn't shoot it. Gets it over to Jackson. Jackson drives along the baseline. Throws one up. Got it. Here we go, Lyon. That dynamic duo putting it on early throw. Yep. Dallas fell into the front court with the basketball. That's a shot. In and out. No good. Shot was by Antwell. Rebound, Charles Fall, and it's up and in by Brown. Lefowitz with her second basket of the game. Get it in now. Pfeiffer picks it up, gets it blocked away. Here comes a three on two. That's a hook shot. Good. What a play that time by Allen. I was just a bit of hook shot, Tom. Yep. 12 up. Got ourselves a ball game here in the first quarter. McGee with the basketball. McGee out front. McGee looks over to Wilson. Wilson, top of the key. Wilson looking. Wilson gets it, has it by the way. Here come the Black Knights the other way. Thompson with the basketball, missed the shot, and underneath. All right, Tommy, we got yeah, fouls on Wilson, her first, team first. Shot is up. Good. Lyons <laughs> making a substitution. Chapman comes out. Jones goes in. We got left quits on the line. She's got five points so far. 
Five. Second shot coming. 13 12, Black Knights. 308 to go, first quarter. Lefkowitz puts it up, got them both. 14 12, Black Knights. All right, into McGee. Jones put it in, Bill. McGee brings it over the timeline. The Black Knights in a uh, man to man. McGee takes it all the way, puts it up, no good. Gets own rebound. Wilson walks. Yep. McGee got a nice pick from Pfeiffer, Tommy, for that layup. A nice pick Pfeiffer set for it. Inbounds it goes. Black Knights up two. Lines the pressure Knight. defense. Cross court it goes to the Atwood. Atwood with a bounce pass to Lefkowitz. Lefkowitz takes it in, puts it up, missed the shot. Lefkowitz gets the rebound. That's where it's going to go. That front it is Thompson. Thompson gets it over to Allen. Allen puts up a three. Got it. And it's good. Allen with the three, and the Black Knights are up five, 17 12. We'll see Adam with seven points so far. Jones out front. Jones gets it to Sylvia Jackson. Jackson, the top of the key, wants to drive. Turns, puts up a little short hook. No good. Lefkowitz with the rebound. Lefkowitz with a nice pass up the court for a layup. Missed it. They're coming around the other way. Wilson works up with the basketball now over to McGee. McGee to Jackson. Jackson puts up a three. No good. Fight for the rebound. Lions got it. Jones gets the rebound. Gets it back up front to Jackson. Jackson down the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Charlotte still. Green shot the rebound for the Black Knights. Hey, Thompson's going to bring it across court. Dallas still up with the basketball. Over it goes to Thompson. Thompson back over to Leftwich. Leftwich has had a really good first quarter for the Black Knights. Ball stolen away by Jackson. He's going to take it coast to coast. Lay it up and in and got fouled. Didn't know Lynn, did he? Oh, didn't? Okay. I thought it went in, but he didn't. Fouls on Allen, her first, team first. It had some net, but only the bottom part of it. <laughs> Shot is up. That one's no good. All right, Wilson comes out. Only Walker's in. Jackson with four points. Make it five. 17 13. Knights on top of the line. Jackson almost stole the basketball. He did. She he did steal it. He threw the bounds off Charlottesville. Yeah. Great job. This has been the most competitive first quarter that we've seen Louise I have, Tommy. All right, the Lions inbounds the basketball to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer gets it back over in the corner. Now to Jackson. Jackson looks, gets to McGee in the middle. McGee stops and missed it. Ball is still with the rebound, and here come the Black Knights. The ball is thrown away by McGee. He goes the other way. McGee gets it underneath to Jackson, puts it up, missed it. Jackson got the rebound. He got no foul. She got a hat. With a bound, Charlottesville. Yep. I'm like you, Tommy. I thought you got fouled. You got hacked like crazy on that one. Louise are missing too many easy shots right now. 17 13, almost stolen away again, but the Black Knights got it in the back court. They get the ball up into the front court. It's got away off the G's fingertips there. 17 13, 30 seconds to go. Black Knights on top. First yep. quarter. Dickie, I don't think we've seen a, a quarter yet where the lines were behind. No, we haven't. This is the most this is the most competitive first quarter we've seen Louisa play this year. All right, Thompson out front. They're gonna hold it for the last shot, or are they gonna 
Let's see. Nope. Get it inside. Back out to Thompson. Thompson gets it over to Allen, and Allen puts it up and in, and the Black Knights are up. Slip. 19-14, Charlottesville. Five seconds to go. Jackson. Over to Chapman. Somebody's got to shoot it. Chapman to Jackson. Jackson lost the handle on it. Charlottesville gets it. That's the end of the first quarter for the Lions doing the night. And a bit of a surprise, Tommy. Charlottesville 19, Louisa 13. It was Allen ended up with nine points in the first quarter, six points for Leftwich, and four points for Brown for their 19. All right, 19-13 the score after the first stanza. Leftwich time is having a good game for Charlottesville. And rebound wise for Louisa McGee's got three, two for Pfeiffer, one for Wilson, one for Jackson, one for Jones. Jackson has two steals, McGee has three steals right now. All right, getting ready for the second quarter here tonight. McGee will be out there for Louisa. Also out there for the Lions will be Haley Walker, Jones, Jackson, and Chapman. All right. Lions will trigger it in. The D out front. Gets it over to Jackson. Jackson stops. Gets it over to Chapman. Chapman's going to drive in. Gets it over in the corner. Up and in. Jones got the bucket for the line. 19-15. Louis is going to trap. Dallas still gets it into the front court to Brown. Brown tries to pass it cross court. Jackson makes the steal. Jackson takes it in. Lays this one up and in. Jackson with seven points now and three steals. 19-17. Dallas still having trouble getting the ball up the court. And now they do finally get it up the court. Antwell is double team, And the ball is almost thrown away by Louisa, but Thompson gets it for the Black Knights. Jones is right on that. Now they throw it in the middle, get it back out front. Left the width. Over in the corner, throw it inside. Got a good pass inside, but it's going to be short. McGee with the rebound. McGee in the front court for the Lady Lions. Dribbles the ball behind her back. Still out front. Passes it cross court. A drive. Back out front. McGee gets it. Puts it up. Missed the shot. Rebound. Left for it. Charlottesville. Left for it having a great game. Yeah, she's ball. having a really good game. No good about that, Tommy. Left for it is a senior for the Black Knights. And now in the question. Back to Lefkowitz. Lefkowitz on the wing. Stolen away. Good job by Walker. Haley Walker. Chapman. Chapman. Chapman lays it up. No good. Rebound underneath. Jackson missed the shot. And Lefkowitz with another rebound for the Black Knights. Another couple of easy baskets at the Lions missed out on. 1917. They get it underneath. Great pass inside. Ball up. McGee gets the rebound. McGee in the front court. McGee takes it all the way in, lays it up, and got it. You're tied at 19. 19, 19. The time I've noticed something else tonight. McGee's going inside more, and on a defensive end, she's really becoming aggressive on the backboard. Yeah. Rebound wise, that's the thing. I'm going to tell you, that's a good timeout, I think, by Charlottesville because we're beginning to get away from them and uh, they called a timeout to try to settle things down. 5.42 to go here in the first half and they're all tied at 19. Yeah, McGee right now with a total of eight points. She's got four steals, uh, three steals, and she's got uh, rebound-wise, three rebounds also leading the way. 
And that's our great statistician, Mr. Andrew Wolfhart. Yeah, we're glad to have him aboard tonight, Tommy, even if he's uh, mourning the loss of his Packers. <laughs> well, yours didn't make it. One of mine didn't make it. So <laughs> he's a whole lot better off than we were. <laughs> I just can't believe my boys are not going to re-sign their quarterback. You think you're going to get a new one, huh? That's what they did. Did not offer him a contract. All right, here we go. Raiders did. Raiders got caught. They got to go. All right. Looks like the Lady Lions going to drop back in that 2-3 zone once again. Coach Taylor is talking to the girls of Charlottesville. Over to Thompson as she's over the line, over to Allen. Allen way out front, tries to get it in to Leftwich. She does. Leftwich drives it up, but block by Mc McGee. McGee blocked the shot. Yep. Charlottesville back over to the basketball. Cross court pass, throw away by Jackson. Jackson looks down the court, throws about to Wilson. Wilson loses the handle on it. Charlottesville comes away with it. Just what you had said earlier, and I agree with you, even though they got 19 points, Charlottesville is slowing the pace down. Yeah. Allen drives through, puts up a four-footer. In and out. Rebound underneath. There's going to be a jump ball, and there'll be the Knights ball. No, nope, maybe Lions ball. Taylor Pfeiffer back in the ball game. Haley Walker goes out. I thought the Lady Lions threw it in at the beginning of that quarter, and so I thought it was going to be the Knights' ball. McGee walks the ball up the court this time. McGee in the front court. McGee back to Chapman. And I think that's what the discussion may be, that it's supposed to be Charlottesville's ball. I mean, you picked up on that one. All right, it is going to be Charlottesville's basketball. They're tied at 19 with 4.43 to go here in the first half. All right. I can still see a little bit. <laughs> Thompson will be triggering it in. McGee is down in the bottom... Left hand side, the defense for Louisa. They get it way out front to Allen. Lady Lions in that 2 3 zone. Chapman and Wilson out front. McGee, Pfeiffer, and Black. Oh, that must have on a bound. Hey, Black Knights get it. Thompson in the middle. To left to it. Left to it inside. Back out on the wing. And Charlotte still definitely taking the arrow the other time. Taking the arrow the other time. Inside the left switch. Left switch turns, puts it up, missed the shot. Fight for the rebound. Left switch got it. Left switch turns again, missed the shot. Left switch the rebound again. Left switch puts it up, missed it again. Hey, what? Can you say enough about her effort, though? As Sylvie Jackson takes it all the way, no good. Rebound underneath. Now it's still got it. All right. Right foot for the Black Knights. 358 to go, we're tied at 19. Inside the left foot. So on the wing, it goes for the three-point shot. Missed it. Rebound, Louisa. Wilson with the basketball for the Lady Lions. Wilson in the front court. Takes it all the way in. And good. Let's see. Lay up. Lay it up and in. Basket cuts. Foul on the plate. Lady Lions take their first lead since I believe it was 13 to 11. Wilson on the line to try to make an old-fashioned three-point play, Tommy. Has the bucket. Puts it up. And it's good. All right. 21-19, Lady Lyle. They held them scoreless for four minutes and 16 seconds in the second period. Yep, they have. Left bounce left almost left stolen left. away by Wilson. Leftwich got the basketball. Leftwich in the front court. 
Down on the wing it goes, and let's see, we got a foul. Yeah, I think we're going to get a foul on Tyler Banks. I think she kind of just forced her out of bounds. Her first foul, second team foul. Ball still in down to the basketball. Down on the wing it goes to Leftowitz. Leftowitz back up front to Allen. Allen gets it cross court to Thompson. He has a shot up and good. Three pointer by Allen. Has it up. 22 22. 319 to go in the opening first half. The first player in double figures. Here comes McGee back to Mitchell. Leftowitz with another rebound. Leftowitz brings it all the way up, passes over to the wing. Shot is up, and it is no good. It is no. Charlotte still gets the rebound, and we got a foul. Don't get McGee on the foul that time. Charlotte still did a good job on the boards, Tommy. 22 22, 2.59 to go. Inbounds it goes for an easy shot, missed it. Great pass. Yeah. Brown missed the shot. Here comes Jackson the other way. Jackson takes it all the way in. Missed the shot. Fight for the rebound. Jump ball. Lady, Lady Lions did it this time. Pfeiffer did a good job on the boards that time for the Lady Lions. They're still missing too many easy shots right now. Banks will trigger it in. Time out. Louisa. Coach Shrek wants to talk to him. All tied at 22. Charlotte's filling out a game plan tonight, Tommy, and they uh, seem to be executing it very well. In the first game we did, Dickie, the Lady Lions scored 64 points in the first half. Yeah. In, this, in the next game we did, they ended up scoring uh, 35 in the first half. Then they did 64 in the first half. And now tonight, they're stuck at 22 in the first yeah. half. I mean, they still have a chance of getting up there to that 35. They still got 248 to go, but uh, this has definitely been the closest first half of basketball they've had this year. Coach Daly's plan of slowing it down and working that zone against Louisa. Right. I think they, they might see him go to man to man now in this game. Inside the Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer puts it up, missed the shot. Rebound Charlottesville. Here come the Black Knights up the court. Good job by Thompson out front. They're still in that 2 3 zone. They get the, the open in the middle. Put it up. No good. Rebound underneath Sylvie Jackson. Sylvie Jackson brings it up for the Lady Lions. Gets it over to McGee, but it, and it's off of her hair. Yep. Piece of hair flew up in the air, and the ball hit it as it went out of bounds. Okay, I give Coach Daly a lot of credit. He's really got his good he has. Game. He's got a good game plan tonight. No question about that, Tom. A and good game plan. 2 15 to go first half, and then we're tied at 22. Uh, Coach Rex said to the head that field. Allen. Allen. Allen, who's the leading scorer. And he get it over to Thompson. Left of it. Left of it's in the corner. No good. Rebound Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer to Silver Jackson. Silver Jackson is going to throw it underneath to McGee. McGee puts it up and gets packed. He's got foul. 151 to go. We're still tied at 22 in the first half. Foul is going to be on left of it. First, first. Team third. McGee up, no good. One thing you got to say, Tommy, these referees and let them play. We played almost the whole first half. Now I'm calling six total fouls. Yeah, it's kind of like Virginia and Syracuse last night. Yeah. Made the second. Rounds by one. Now they're going to put the press on. Dollar's still in the front court, gets it in the front court. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Jackson. And that's no off of Charlottesville's foot out of bounds. I think that was more of, I'm not going to call a foul, but I'm going to give you the ball. 
They let them play. No yep. question about that. Silver Jackson brings it over the timeline. Looking for McGee. McGee gets it. Top of the key. Going to drive. Put it up. No good. And left it with, with the rebound once again. Now he's got the, some good stats, stats for the first half. He does that. There's Allen. Allen out front. Gets it in the middle. Allen for a long three. No good. I believe that's off Louisa. It is yep. off Louisa. Jones getting ready to come back in. Banks is going to come out for the lady line. Get it back in the corner. Get it across the alley away. and threw it away. 105.5 to go, Dickie, here in the first half. How about that, Tommy? That's a good number. Good number. 23-22, Lady Lions on top by one. Wilson out front with the basketball for the Lady Lions. Now gets to McGee. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Pfeiffer with the basketball. Back to McGee. McGee's going to pop a three. Got it. Now the Lions up four. 26-22. McGee steals it in there. The pass. Lays it up and in. Quick to the Lions up six. 28-22. It should have been a foul there, but they may have got by with it. Pfeiffer trying to force it out, but it'll be a late Lions ball. Jackson and the McGee. Tommy, mean, they got to score 26-22. They're going to go for the next one for the last shot. The D with the basketball. It should be 28-22. They take it in, pass up, go wide open, fight for it, lays it up and in. 28-22. It should be 30. Is that what you got? That's what I okay. think it is. Underneath, no good. Fight for the rebound. Here we go, McGee. Goes it. And the that's it. No good. And that's the half of it here yeah, in the Lions den tonight. And a little bit surprising, the score at halftime is Louisa 28, Charlottesville 22. Oh, we reserve the right to say it 30. We'll see in just a moment. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs>
Yeah. All right, we're back at the beginning of the second half coming up. And Dickie, it's been a battle for the Lady Lions. A little spurred there at the end before we put them ahead. Yeah, Louise is up 30 to 22, Tommy. The, the scoreboard was wrong at halftime. We, we had them for 30, and they checked the scorebooks, and uh, that's what they uh, turned out, that Louisa had 30. So it's 30-22 is the score at halftime. So the line did reach 30, but that, I believe that's the lowest point total for any half this year. That, that we've been involved right. in anyway. Right, right. And uh, for the Lady Lions, 15 points for Olivia McGee, 3 points for Olivia Wilson, uh, 2 points for Jakiah Jones, 7 points for Jackson, Silver Jackson, 4 points for Taylor Pfeiffer. For the Charlottesville Lady Knights, 11 points for Raquel Allen, the freshman. And then their senior, uh, Andrea Leftwich, has 6 points, but she's had a great game underneath, getting a lot of rebounds too and all. Yes, a lot of rebounds. Brown has 4 points, and they only have 3 girls that have scored for them. Uh, the Lions have a total of 5 that have scored for them so far. And one thing we need to note, Tommy, Louise is missing one of its better ball players tonight. Byers is... Uh, not with the team tonight, and uh, so they're, they're missing her. I don't think there's any doubt about that. All right. Tonight's game, we say, brought to you by ODEC, Old Dominion Electric Cooperative. Uh, when you see any of them, tell them to thank them for putting this together for you. We appreciate everything that they do. The great staff here at the high school that have set and put this together with uh, Coach Stanley, the athletic director, uh, Lauren Manrique, Kelly Schuler, Janelle Erickson, the game management team, Charles Carter, the event staff. You see the nice little article on Coach Carter in the uh, paper last week, uh, medical part, how he got involved. All right. Friday night, the boys against Spotsylvania at 7.30. That used to be an old rival. That was that, Tommy. That was an old rivalry. Coach Dunn over there, <laughs> always a good coach. Yes. Yep. I can remember back to the days when Joe Langford coached over there. Yeah. Catalba started there, didn't he, before he went to Cortland? I'm not sure. Catalba was at Cortland, yeah. yeah. All right. They're checking to make sure, as they say, we've got 30 to 22. We've got it in a bunch of books. Well, the home book is supposed to be the official book, so that should get, and I think the home book has 30. What happened was, Tommy, McGee hit the three and then stole the ball right away and made a layoff, and that's the two points that they missed. Yep. Yep. What do you think, Andrew? All right, they're still discussing what the score of the ball game is. The referee is looking at both books, the Louisa book, the Charlottesville book, and checking it out. And the score should be. Of you want it to be two points left. <laughs> the score should be thirty to twenty-two. Yeah. I put that disclaimer on as we went to the break. You know, you put that little asterisk right there. All right. The head official is checking it out also. All right, we're still arguing about what the score is, man. And, Dickie, we got almost as much gray hair in the officiating crew as you and me tonight. <laughs> if, I, if I don't get my beard trimmed soon, I'm going to have a whole lot of gray yeah, hair. Yeah. I'm going to be I'm, Santa Claus. Uh, Tommy, I just want to say this highlights the importance of all stat keepers everywhere. I just want that to be noted in the official record. Thank you. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, sometimes we try to do things so quick that you lose something there. But. All right, they're still discussing the score down there, and we, 30 to 22 is the correct score. Now, what they're going to decide down there. And, Tommy, from my days many, many years ago, when I used to do that when I was in high school, the home book is supposed to be the official book. And to me, it was always better you had one person that kept the score. And then you had others that did turnovers and steals and rebounds. And, all. and, and the other procedure, as I remember it, 
Now, this COVID thing may have changed all that as a referee comes over at the end of the half and makes sure both book for the same. Yep. And these, these are, they didn't realize there was a difference until they came out for the second half. I thought one of the officials kind of stayed out until they put up the third. Let's see what to do with it. Sorry for the delay, but this is us as a refund, as a rerun tonight too. So nobody's gonna be watching reruns, and this is us at nine o'clock. So we're in good shape. <laughs> All right, as we said, the problem was McGee hit the three pointer, then got a quick steal on the inbounds and made a layup, and that the basket that they missed. The layup bucket is the one that they missed. All right. How about some scores during this low? Yep, I agree with Andrew. You know, Albemarle boys up 46 to 22 on Orange at the half. Louisiana girls were up on Monticello early on 25-22. And if Mr. Andrew has any more, we'll pass it along to you. All right, he keeps stats as quick as he chews gum. Here we go. We're ready for the second half now. They have gotten the score book straight. And All right. the score is 30 to 22, Louisa. Albemarle girls up big 39-13 on Orange. And Dickie, I'm trying, I know that head official. I can't think yes. of his name right now. I do too, Tommy. Yep. We, we've done games when we were doing them on the, on the radio, and that guy was refereeing. Yeah. Yep. I noticed when I came in here tonight, I said, I know that head official. I can't I think of his name, but I've seen him. He's refereed games we did before. Yep. Louisville has the ball to start the second half. It's 30 22. We've got 16 minutes left. Eight minute quarters coming up. Third quarter getting ready to get on the way. All right. Thompson with the basketball for the Black Knights. In the corner it goes. Now, right. Brown. The basketball. At the Thompson out front, man. Left to it inside. Left to it puts it back outside. Has a shot, no good. And the rebound goes to the Black Knights. Dallas still gets the rebound, gets it back into Left to it, puts it up and in. Soft shot by Left to it, goes in. Very That's eight points. Louisa held them to three points in the second quarter. Inside the Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer to McGee. McGee lays it up, missed the layup. Rebound. Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer gets it back to Jackson. Ooh. Jackson puts it up, Jordan. missed it. Rebound Louisa. Underneath the goal, shot is up and in by Wilson. Right. No basket. Travel. All the travel before. Dallas fell in the front court with a basketball. Thompson, eight point. Thompson over on the wing. He goes. Antwell. Antwell gets it back eight point to Allen. Allen with the basketball gets it back to Thompson. Thompson over on the wing. Inside it goes to Allen. Allen still with the basketball eight point. Now down on the wing it goes. Back eight point. That is almost, almost thrown away by Wilson. And now thrown away. Yep. I threw the ball and she wasn't looking. No the bounds and win. All right. Coming in is going to be Jamal Green in a moment. But not right now. McGee in the front trip to the line. McGee, out front. Back to Wilson. Wilson gets it down to Chapman. Chapman, the basketball for the Lady Lions. Chapman gets it back to Jackson. Jackson takes it down the lane. Just gets it back. Jackson puts it up. Got it. And got foul. And got foul. 32-24. Foul's going to be on left of it. And that's her, I would say it's second. Yes. First one in the second half. First team foul of the second half. 
Jackson, the old fashioned three, got it. 33 24, Lady Lions by nine. Biggest lead of the night for the Lady Lions, Tommy. 5.57 to go here in the third quarter. Thompson, they start with the basketball for the Black Knights. Over to Allen on the wing. Allen gets it back to Brown. Brown, they start with the ball. Back to Thompson. Throws it to Allen. It goes off Allen's hands. Go to Brown. There's too much mustard on that pass. And I know I heard Andrew talking to you during the break, too, that no one selected for the Baseball Hall of Fame this year. Pfeiffer to Jackson. Jackson picks it up short. Rebound, Black Knights. Uh, and over to over to Allen. Brown. Brown back to Allen. Allen's going to shoot the three. Got it. Allen can shoot them threes. Trying to nail that one. 33-27. Lady Lions by six. Five, ten to go here. In the third quarter, McGee down the lane, stop and pop. Missed the shot, rebound, fourth four. Jackson's got it. Jackson gets it back in front of McGee. McGee to Jackson. Jackson stops, gets up a three pointer, short. Rebound, Charlottesville. Here come the Black Knights. Allen takes it all the way in, lays it up, missed the layup. Left for it, the rebound, missed the shot. Another shot up by Charlottesville, no good. Left Fritz gets it again, shoots it again. That's four shots, and he made the fourth one. Yeah. Didn't you like that Euro step that, that, uh, they, uh, that Allen had for the first time? The D with the basketball over Chapman. We got a four point game inside the McGee. McGee turns, McGee drives the baseline, charging on McGee. Second foul on McGee, first foul in the second half for the Lady Lions. We got ourselves a ball game here tonight, Tony. Oh, yeah. 4 21 to go in the third quarter, and the 33 29 Lady Lions over to the Lady Black Knights. Anthony comes out and into the game. Comes Roxana DB Center for the Knights. Here's Allen over the timeline. Got to open for the three again, but she's going to go in and take a two. No good. Here comes McGee. McGee. Good pass over to Chapman, and they lost it out of bounds. McGee took a field too, Tony. I'll give her an eight and a half on that tumble. Dallas could inbound the ball within four. Lady Lions playing man to man here in the second half. Allen. Over to left to it. Left to it takes it in. Left to it stops. Left oh, to it picks it up. No so good. Fight for the rebound. Over to bounds. Lose I didn't know you could use the Euro step in, in high school ball. All right, here comes Sylvia Jackson into the front court for the Lady Lions. Over on the wing to Chapman. Chapman, the basketball. Back to Jackson. Jackson lost the handle on it. Now she gets it. A beautiful pass underneath to Pfeiffer, but she missed the shot. Here's a get the rebound. Chapman shoots up a three, in and out. Fight for the rebound. Left to it. Comes away with it for the Black Knight. Left to it, throws it all the way in. Stops. Looking to throw it back. Throws it back to Allen. Allen down the lane. Throws up a running one-hander. No good. Rebound Pfeiffer for the Lady Lion. Pfeiffer in the front court to Chapman. Chapman with the basketball over to Jackson. Jackson drives in and shot blocked by Entwell for Charlottesville. Down the court it goes. Allen puts it up, missed it. Rebound, Sylvia Jackson for the Lady Line. He's getting ready to work on the double double real quick here for all these rebounds now. Ball stolen away. Jackson tried to hit the D with a long pass, but stolen away by Thompson. And now the Black Knights slow it down a little bit. They're right in this ball game, 33-29. They approach, we're right at two and a half minutes. Leftwood puts it up, missed the shot. Rebound, McGee. McGee to Chapman, back to McGee. McGee in the front court for the Lady Lions. McGee, down the lane. McGee puts it up, missed the shot. Rebound, Leftwood at Charlottesville. Left wits in the front court. 
Now gets it back to Thompson. Thompson inside. Ball stolen away by Chapman. Chapman gets it to Jackson. Here comes Jackson in the front court for the long line. Jackson will take it all the way in. Lay it up. Missed the lay up. Got to flip it basketball. Time out. Late in night. Tommy, if I'm the Charlottesville coach, I'm right where I want to be. We are late in the third quarter, and I'm right in this basketball game with Louisiana. Yeah, and this is a 7-3 third quarter right now. And, and this is pretty, when you start to think of Louisiana score, but three points this quarter. Yeah. They held them to three points in the second quarter. Right now, we got a couple of Louisa ones working on double double potential. McGee, 14.7 rebounds. Jackson, 10.7 rebounds. Both of them have four steals also. All right. But you, so you got to really be impressed with the coach for Charlottesville and how he's got the tone and the speed of the game the way he wants. Yeah. He sat there and it made Louisa miss a lot of inside shots. Yeah. Charlottesville's done a really good job on the backboards, two times. Really good job on the boards. And they it. It's interesting to see how many rebounds Leftwich has. Right. And they slowed the pace of the game down. Leftwich has 10 points and 14 points for Allen, but they still have only three people that scored, only two here in the second half. All right, Charlottesville can. Louisa Louisa down to drop back in the 2-3 again. 2-3 zone, it looks like. Yep. They worked that middle pretty good. Allen was in there, and she gets out. Allen Brown gets the basketball. Over, over to Thompson, Thompson on the left Thompson. side. Right side. On the wing. Back to the front. Now goes cross court to Allen. Allen, Allen on the wing. After 20 goals. Actually, giving left to it a little break right now, Dickie. Yep. Going in the middle. Allen, Allen, Allen double it's dribble. Tries to put up a hook shot. No good. It comes Wilson with the basketball from the lady line. Yeah, she got by for double dribble that time. Wilson in the front court. Wilson to Chapman. Chapman to Jackson. Cutting down the lane. Jackson puts it up and in. That was a great pass by Chapman. Was that? Where's he going to press? Here come the Black Knights down the court. Almost threw the ball away, but they run it down. And it went. 35 29, 57 seconds to go here in the third quarter. He couldn't keep left with it for a long, though. She's back in there now. He got her 30 second break. Yep. With a time over ball, too. So about a minute and a half, two minutes break. Up. The D in the front court for the lady line. The D. To Chapman. Chapman to Jackson. Jackson puts it up. No good. McGee runs down the loose ball. McGee out front. McGee gets it cross court to Wilson. Stolen away by Charlotte Spur. Allen takes it all the way in. Lays it up and in. We got a four point game. 25 seconds to go. Here's McGee the other way. McGee still got the basketball. McGee gets it inside to Jackson. Jackson puts it up. Missed the shot. Charlotte Spur the rebound. Thompson with the rebound for Lady Black Knight. Thompson passes to Allen. Allen puts it up. Pushed the shot. Oh, Leftwich over the back. No call there. Over the jump back with Jones. All right. Charles Ford inbounds the ball. 7.6 seconds to go. Do it again in Allen the Leftwich. On the wing. Shot is up. No good. Charles Ford the rebound. Back to Allen for a three pointer. And it is no good, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter here for the Lions doing the What a basketball game we got here tonight. At the end of three quarters, it's the Loser Lady Lions 35 and the Black Knights of Charlottesville 31. The Loser got five points in that quarter, all from Sylvia Jackson. All right. 35-31, and we head into the fourth quarter, and uh, no doubt about it now, Tommy. If this is definitely the most competitive basketball game the Lady Lions have, have uh, had this year. It's really the first time they've been tested going, going into the fourth quarter. 
and Rakeel Jackson and Andrea Leftowitz led, led the way. Yep. Jackson. Allen has a total of 16 points. And Leftowitz has 10, but she's got a lot of rebounds also. Yeah, I would say Leftowitz is a double, double if you had the rebounds, but she's got 10 points. We don't know exactly, how many re- but I would have to think she's in double figures in rebounds. So. All right, the Lady Lions are going to inbound the basketball for the last eight minutes of this thing. First time this year they've been tested. All right. Wilson into McGee. McGee running things out front. Chapman with the basketball. Chapman. To Wilson. Wilson down the lane. Look. Passes to Chapman underneath. Chapman puts the shot up. No good. Rebound McGee. Went inside. He got that big bucket for the Lions. 37-31. Underneath the left to it. Left to it. Puts it up. Mr. Shot. Rebound. Chapman. Chapman to Jackson. Jackson takes it all the way down the lane. A nice pass by Jackson. To Jones and Jones lays it up and in. 39 31. Lady Lions by eight. This is a big possession here for Charlotte, Joe Connor. To stay in this ball game, we need the bucket here now. Charlotte's still being very deliberate. Now to give them the left to it. Left to it takes it in. Picks it up and in. Used her body to shield off McGee that time and got it up and in with her left hand. 39-33. McGee out front with the basketball. McGee down on the baseline. McGee drives the baseline. Puts it up and in. And got fouled. I think it's going to be left of its third. Let's see. Nope, it's going to be on Thompson. No, it's going to be left of its third. That's her yep. McGee for the old-fashioned three-point play. McGee puts it up, in and out, so good. Rebound, Lyons get it, Jones gets it. Jones to Chapman. Chapman cross court to Wilson. Wilson down the lane. Wilson to Jones. Jones back to Chapman. Chapman back to Jackson. Jackson, eight front with a basketball for the lady line. Jackson inside to McGee. McGee has it died away. Fight for the loose ball, left gets down on the floor. Time out, shut up, Phil. Left the witch down on the floor. She's done everything tonight. Yes, she has that. She has that. Yes. I noticed something a little bit different about Louisa that time, Tommy. He put McGee down inside that time. Yep. All right. McGee has 18 points, nine rebounds. Just away from the double double. And I will say this, Tommy, McGee is a difficult matchup when she goes inside like that. They can get her the ball down there. You, you got to realize that just the top ball, so she's still learning. Left of it, used, used her body last time and used her left hand to put in a rebound and score two points. And McGee is capable of that. We've seen it some, but she's just not a season yet. But she's there, getting there. Yeah, left of is a senior. She's had quite a ball game tonight. Her and the freshman Allen are carried yep. tonight. Thompson over to Allen. Allen and Leftowitz are the two, two big scores for Charlotte. So that's a nice pass by Allen. A nice pass inside. I think they're going to get Wilson with the foul. Let's see if that's who it comes up again. And that'll be her second. First to the second half. 6.05 to go here in the... Fourth quarter, this one is 41-33, Lady Lions. Shot is up. Missed it. Too strong. Haley Walker back in the ball game for Louisa. Jones did a good job keeping the ball alive a while ago, her and Chapman. And we eyes the basket again. Puts it up. Misses them both. Rebound. 
Chapman with the basketball. Yeah. Chapman has a stolen away. Did it come the other way? And the block right by block. Shelby Jackson. Jackson in the front court with the basketball. Back out front to Chapman. Chapman to Wilson. Wilson down in the wing. Has a shot up. No good. Fight for the rebound. McGee has it taken away. The ball's down to the bounds off Jackson. 5.40 to go in the I think McGee thought she got fouled. Allen in the front court. Allen with the basketball. Eight-point game. Allen. Has the ball almost thrown away by Jackson. Almost thrown away again by Wilson. We got Wilson for the foul. That'll be her third. The team third, her third. Allen will trigger it in. Maybe lines on a man-to-man defense right now. And then McGee went for the steal, lost it, left it, puts it up, no good. Rebound underneath, up and in that time. And that's Antwerp. Stole away by Charlotte's ball, but now Chapman steals it back. Fight for the loose ball. Lines get in the front court. Wilson. Wilson over on the wing. It goes. And that's stolen away again by Charlottesville. Thompson with the basketball for the Lady Black Knight. Thompson to Allen. Allen down the lane. Allen to left the whip. And a fight for the loose ball. We got a jump ball. Sylvie Jackson, two blocks in a row now. Going to do the Lady Lions ball on the jump ball, alternating arrow. Jackson has three blocks in this game. And also, the ball over to Allen. Allen for three. Got it! 41 38, a three point ball game. Four and a half minutes to go. 20 points to Allen. We get it over to Haley Jackson. Walker puts it up, no good. Here comes the Lady Knights. Here comes Allen again. Left Gritz gets the rebound off the missed Allen shot. Left Gritz puts it up. No good. Here comes Sylvia Jackson on the rebound for the Lady Lions. Three point ball game. We're approaching four minutes to go. Chapman with the basketball. Chapman over to Jackson. Jackson or McGee is going to drive this time, Dickie. Jackson out front. Jackson. Stop. Puts it up short. McGee with the rebound. Puts it up. Missed it. Got fouled. McGee went to the board strong that time, yep. Tommy. Got an eye for the ball. Yep. Fouls on Thompson. Oh, excuse me. Uh, on uh, Brown. He puts it up and in on a free throw. 42-38, Lady Lions. Second shot coming from McGee. Good job by Walker while she was in there. Second shot up. Got them both. They needed them. They were two big free throws. McGee hit them. They were clutch free throws, Tommy. 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 19 points. And as a steal by the Lady Lions, Jones. To McGee. One on one here. McGee's going to take it all the way in. Missed the shot. Got fouled. You yeah. her body to see over there yep. under that. Yep. 43 38, 3.33 to go in the ballgame. That is up by McGee. Got it. Clutch foul shooting by the This will make it a three possession game if she gets this one. Right. 333 to go. Everything three. Missed it. Missed it. Left to Ritz with another rebound for the Lady Black Knight. Left to Ritz in the front court. Left to Ritz to Allen. Allen. The basketball. Back to 20 goes to Thompson. They need to stay Thompson. right on Allen because yep. I'm ready. she's ready to put it up. Now it's left to Ritz. Left to it. Down on the wing. And the ball's thrown away by Jackson. Jackson takes it all the way in. Missed the layup. Ooh. Got a score at the rebound. 
Allen down on the wing to Thompson. Thompson takes it in, lays it up and in. 44-40, 2.55 to go. Sylvia Jackson with front court for the Lady Lions. Jackson to McGee, cutting through the middle. McGee with a nice bounce pass to Jones, and Jones got fouled. Good teamwork by Louisa. Maybe on Brown, that's her second. Jones on the line to shoot two, and we got 2.45 to go in a four-point basketball game. That is up. Missed it. Second one coming. Jones has four points. He kept the ball alive for quite a while there. One time, another really captain. Second one coming. That is up. Missed it again. Lepkowitz with the big rebound for Charlottesville. Lepkowitz in the front court. Left to with the Thompson. Thompson to Allen. She's going for the three. Got it. 44 43 basketball game. Two and a half minutes to go. It's the timeout loser. And luckily, before Chapman moved on their baseline, it secured after a pass. She was just, she was scared she was going to do it. She almost stepped inbound. She could move because it was out there basket, but, but she was almost ready to step right. inbound. Right. Coach Nick Shrek, he sat there and he said, I do not like what I'm seeing here now. 44-43, 2 minutes, 28 seconds to go in the basketball game. And uh, the Lions have been waiting to get tested all year, Tommy. Well, they're getting tested tonight. Charlottesville has slowed the pace of the game down. And uh, are right in this one, Tommy. And Charlottesville's gotten almost all their points from Allen and left for it. Isn't that right, Tommy? Yeah. All right, the pressure's on now. This has been down to the nitty gritty, Tommy. We got ourselves a bounds burner here tonight. Well, Allen's got 23 points. Lepowitz 12. That's 35 of their 43. Right. And Allen said I don't know how many threes, but four or five threes, I'm sure. Four. Yeah. All right, Louisa the inbound for basketball and a nail by the little night in the Lions doing. She's a freshman. Yes. Yeah. All right. Inbounds it goes to McGee. And they got a full court press, a man to man defense by the Black Knights right now. Well, that shot still looks like they're playing a boxing one. They got the one on McGee. Nope. McGee the basketball. Inside to Jackson. Jackson puts it up and in. A huge basket for the line. And a great pass that time by Jones into her, too, Dickie. Jones saw her cutting through the middle, got the pass to her, she put it up and in. All right, 46 43, 204 to go in this one. Key possession here for the Black Knight. Yeah, I do. It's a huge possession. Every possession is huge now when you've got a three point ball game of just a two oh four to go. This is the one that gets you right up on the edge of your seat at home, Tom. Yeah. All right. Biggest thing the Lions have to do is they gotta keep somebody on out all the time because give her a little bit of room, she's gonna put up that three. And she can shoot it. Yeah. All right, Allen's gonna bring the ball up for the Lady Black Knights. And we're down to 159 to go. Over to left, left to whip. Left to whip, driving, McGee's guarding it. Left to whip. In the inside, missed the shot. Rebound, Jackson, loser. It'll be Jackson getting me a double-double now, too. The Jackson's a chaplain. If I'm Louisa, I wouldn't be in any hurry right now. You got the lead, three-point lead. If they're going to let you hold the ball, now they're coming out after them. And we got a timeout, Louisa. Smart everybody timeout, I think. Timeout. Smart timeout. Yeah, timeout. everybody saved the timeout. Yeah. This, this really gets into the coaching we need in this situation. I think you're going to find Coach Shrek is going to get the ball either to McGee or Jackson. Yeah. 
and they drive, should somebody be open, those two girls are willing to pass it to each other or to somebody else, too. But this is key because this uh, score right here will put them up two possessions. Right, right. 46-43, 134 to go. I'm impressed by the, the, the way that uh, Shakia Jones has come in. She's done a good job tonight having to come in and, and play a lot of minutes. Yeah, well, Louise is missing some people tonight, Tony. We've already said Byers is missing, and I think we may have some other yep, girls. Hurt. Dempsey, Dempsey's not here. Right. So. And, of course, they got uh, Smith with the bad ankle, and she's still walking in a boot. And I don't know why they, they those boots aren't made for what? <laughs> They're not, not like the ones Nancy Sinatra used to wear, huh, Tony? There we go. Wilson triggers it in to Jackson. Jackson's going to be at the top of the key. She's going to run the point right now. Gets it over to McGee. Double team in McGee. McGee. All over McGee's going to drive. Gets the pass over. Pfeiffer gets it back up front to Chapman. Chapman there. Louisa looks like you're trying to maybe play a little star ball here, Tommy. Chapman. That's it. Right. the away. And it went out of bounds off of Louis uh, Charlottesville. Yeah, lucky for the Lady Lions that time yeah. because they got it away. Yeah, they almost had the ball stolen. All right. All right, let's see what kind of inbounds play we get. Wilson to trigger it in. And Wilson gets it across court. going to go out of bounds. The Lady Lions ball still. Left of which got a finger on it. Wilson will figure it in. 108 to go in the ball game. 46-43, Lady Lions. The battle is on here. Inbounds to Chapman. Chapman, right. Chapman with the basketball. And Louise is in no hurry. Chapman. They're trying to keep McGee from getting the ball, but McGee's got it now. McGee with the basketball. Inside Less than a minute to go. Looks like the Lions are going to try to hold it, Tommy. McGee still with the basketball. McGee driving in. Ball is off the left to the side of bounds, and we got 47 seconds to go. Great defense by Charlottesville. Tommy Lewis would, wouldn't be shooting if they fouled him. Yep. They got to have two fouls for Lewis to shoot the one and one. All right, Wilson to trigger it in. Gets it over to Chapman. Lewis is going to play the star ball. What they find her. Chapman, double team. Time on. Foul. No, that foul. That's yeah. a sixth foul. Number that, four. That puts them in a one and one. Going to be on green. Now the next it's foul, Louis, will be in a one and one. Jackson. Jackson. Oh, it's stolen away by Leskowitz. Leskowitz all the way in. Leskowitz puts it up. That foul by McGee. 36 seconds to go. 46 43, Louisa. And look what's on the line to shoot two. Third foul on McGee. And these are some big free throws here, Tommy. Some big ones. And she is two for two for the night. Up there. Got it. 46 44. 36.1 seconds to go in this one. Second shot coming. I think you'll see a timeout by Coach Daly after this. this is Left second. good. Puts it up. This no good. McGee with the rebound. McGee. Almost triple team. Now she gets to Jackson. Jackson in the front court. Over to Wilson. Back to Jackson. The Lions will hold the basketball. Chapman with the basketball. Chapman. They're trying to get that her foul. Gets it to McGee. McGee puts it up and in. Great pass by Chapman to leave it through. The Lady Lions up by four with 11 seconds to go. Side up, no good. Rebound underneath. Left foot, picks it up. No McGee got the rebound. McGee got fouled. The Lions are going to survive, Tommy. 48 44, 4.4 seconds to go in this one. What a basketball game of the night from the Lions, then. McGee 23 and 12 right at the moment. Monticello leads three down, and girls 50 to 48 right now. All right, McGee. 
Picks it up. Got it. 49-44. Lady Lions by five. They were tested here. Though. Yeah, they were tested. No doubt about that. Up, oh, got them both. Good foul shooting by McGee. I think she's made six in a row. This one in that box. Right. Here we go. That's going to be the basketball game tonight. The final score, the Louisa Lady Lions, 50, and the Charlottesville Black Knights, 44, and a great girls basketball game tonight here in the Lions game. Tommy, this one went right down to the very end, right down to the nitty-gritty. 25 for McGee. Tommy getting the scores added up over there. Yep. And this we got it's it. the first time this year the Lady Lions have been tested, and they got tested tonight by the Charlottesville Lady Black Knights. 